It's of no use, it's filth. Smashed, meaning lifeless. It's a pure state of annihilation. In a state that you forget yourself. And when you remove yourself from yourself, is this the description of happiness? No. No, my dear Islamic brothers and respected elders, this is not a state of happiness. This is a state and a description of a person who is running, running away from reality. And the one who runs away from reality turns to fantasy. And if you take away their fantasy, you take away their music, you take away their films, you take away their drugs, and then will they be happy? No, they will not be happy. My dear Islamic brothers, but it is, the onus is on all of us. Alhamdulillah, looking at the luminous and the beautiful radiant faces that are in front of me and around me and above me, Alhamdulillah, one thing you need to ask yourselves, that how are we here? How are we here today? We are here because somebody invited us. Somebody told us that there is a gathering and of most we should thank Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala because without His will, a leaf cannot fall off a tree, let alone us being in this beautiful gathering today. So always bear that in mind and always thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us the tawfiq to do good. So back coming back to these brothers in this sad state who are in a state of their unconsciousness, they are not aware of their actions. And my dear Islamic brothers, this is where the devil will come in. This is where Satan will play his part. Satan, we all know as mentioned in the glorious Quran, taken from Qanzul Iman, enter Islam whole, as a whole and never follow the footsteps of Satan. Surely he is your open enemy. So the Quran is telling us that the devil is our open enemy. So the question is, do we realize and see and understand our enemy? Because the devil, he will not come up to you and say, Brother, do you, shall me and you, let's go. Me and you, shall we burn in hellfire? Come on, dude, let's go. No, he will not do this. Or will he come to us and give you a bottle of poison and say, Brother, dude, drink this. Drink this and he'll kill you. It's how pathetic it sounds. But the fact of the matter is, that he will mix truth with falsehood. And how will he do this? He will do this by offering you something that is tempting, like offering you honey, or more closer to home, offering you Coca-Cola. He will offer you Coca-Cola. Dude, this is the real thing. Coca-Cola, drink it. And we will take it from him. And we will drink this Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola, that will rot in our teeth, the Coca-Cola that will make us go fat and obese, the Coca-Cola that will probably give us a heart attack. So much so for the real thing. But this is the way that he is devious and this is the way he comes to us. This is the way that he will attack us. And sadly, this situation is so manifested within our own Muslim community that our own brothers, honestly, this hurts me. It hurts me to say this, but it's a fact and the fact should always be addressed. That our own brothers come up to us and they say, dude, what's up with the green turban, man? What is it with the green turban? And if this is the state of the Muslim community, then what can we say about the non-Muslims? So if our own brothers are saying to us, dude, what's up with the green turban? What is that telling you? What is this telling us? My dear Islamic brothers, this is telling us that we need to strive even more towards haq, towards righteousness, towards spreading the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to spreading the love of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islamic brothers and respected elders, as the brother mentioned earlier and a beautiful saying, as mentioned in the Quran, Surah Azab, Para 21, verse 21, لَقَدْ قَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَاتٌ حَسَنًا Translation from Qanzul Iman, Certainly you have an excellent model 
in the following of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. So my dear Islamic brothers, we know that we have the best of messengers and we are the best of nations. Alhamdulillah, that is something to be proud of. That is something that the time from Adam alayhi salam that nobody has got this. That we have the best of prophets and we are the best of nations. We just need to wake up. We just need to understand what is meant by following the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is meant by following the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islamic brothers, before finishing my talk, I would like to just mention a few things that I'm sure all of us here can relate to. That it's a very, very common saying, a famous saying, that Islam started strange. Islam started strange and it will return to being strange. Islam started strange and it will return to be something strange. And what I mentioned earlier about the people inquiring about our turbans, then what I have to say is glad tidings to the brothers who are strange. Glad tidings to the brothers of Dawah Islami. If people think we are strange, Alhamdulillah we are strange. Because we know who we are following. We are following the best of creation. We are following the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. And Alhamdulillah, Wallahi, we are proud of following the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. We will die following the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. We have nothing to hide. We have nothing to be ashamed of. We should be proud of who we are. And this is where Amir al-Sunnah, Amir al-Dawat islami Hazrat Maulana Ilyas Attar Qadri, Maddasillah al-Ali has given this thought, has had this worry, has had this hurt for the Ummah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar, my dear Islamic brothers. Ya Rasulullah. Ya Rasulullah. Akhtariya. So my dear Islamic brothers, please, especially the youth that is here, I would like to make one thing crystal clear to you. I am no scholar. I have done no 15 years in Syria. I have done nothing of such. This is the first of Amiri al-Sunnah that I am here today. Allahu Akbar. Dawat Islami does not look at what caste you are. Dawat Islami does not look at your bank account. Dawat Islami does not look at how high you are in the community. Dawat Islami teaches us what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam taught to his Sahaba to sacrifice in every way, form and shape. Whether it means to travel on a Madini Kafala, whether it means to stand and to do bayat, whether it means to go on the streets and invite to people towards good. Alhamdulillah, this is the thought the Amir al-Sunnah Amir al-Dawud islami Hazrat Maulana Ilyas Attar Qadri, Damut Barakat Um Ali has given us. So my final point to you all is, my dear Islamic brothers, Amir al-Sunnah Maddazillah Ali says it in a beautiful way, that your life is like an ice cube. An ice cube which is constantly melting. And eventually there is no ice. <laughs> My dear Islamic brothers, the devil is your open enemy. We know this. And he will not stop. He will not work on me and you for a day or two and say, I've done my bit. That's it, I've done my bit for today. Let me relax for a couple of weeks. No. He will stay with us and he will put his whispers in us until we die. This is how much he will try. There is no word as give up. He will try and try 
and try to take our iman away from us at the time of death. So which from this we learn that being strong in our faith and our iman is absolute paramount. So when we go and we have an issue for a day or two, or we are disheartened and we will say, oh, this is not for me. You know, I've tried and nobody has come. Oh, this is too difficult. My dear Islamic brothers, when he have these sort of whispers, then we should think, tomorrow, inshallah, I will do twice as much. If I have not done well today, then I will do well tomorrow. And our job is not to achieve, our job is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that gives us success. <coughs> so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me the sinful, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant everyone here paradise and give us all death with Iman. Wa ma alayna illa al-balagh al-mubin, ma tawfiqi illa billah.